Hey, Steve Stein here. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're gonna to be looking at the new Sabre electric guitar, which is part of the Sterling line by Music Man. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna check out this video that I made where I just kind of showcase some of the sounds that it makes and check out its playability. So here we go. Now the Sabre comes with a Neato body and a flame maple top. Um, it also has locking tuners on it. And the most important thing for me when I when I play a guitar is not so much like the, the wood styles and things like that. That's great. And I know some people it's very, very important. But for me, the most important thing is how does it feel? You know, can I play the way I like to play on it? Is the neck comfortable? And how does it sound? And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at uh, the components of the pickups, the coil taps, things like that. So let's talk about that a little bit. First of all, it's got a roasted maple neck. It's 22 frets. It's 25 and a half inch scales. So very similar to a lot of the other guitars that I normally play. It feels really good. It's got a modern C shape with a 12 inch radius on it, which makes it really easy to grip. It's not too thin and it's not too thick. It's kind of right in there. And what I did notice is when I first took it out of the, the box and started playing it, it has a it um, has 10 gauge strings on it, Ernie Ball strings, and it felt a little bit harder to play than I normally would like, simply because the the it is still 25 and a half inch, and um, was a little bit hard for me to play. So when I did the demo, I did it in standard tuning, but when I decided to do this, I thought, well, let's just tune it down a half step and see how it feels, and it fell right into place. The, the strings feel great, the neck feels great, and um, it, honestly, it's become one of those guitars that I can't really stop playing. So let's just talk about that a little bit. The fingerboard is made of roasted hard maple and rosewood. It has stainless steel frets on it, and then we get over here to the pickups. It's got two Fishman Fluence Modern Humbuckers. Those are active. It's got a three-way switch, okay? The volume has a push-pull for a coil tap for both pickups. Okay, we're going to listen to that. And then there's also a tone tap for two different voicings. So we've got voice number one, which is kind of a full, rounded, boosted sound for the neck. And then voice number two is kind of clean and full. Uh, so we're going to, we're going to again, listen to those. So let's just start off. I've got uh, my camper running here. And I'm just going to start off. I don't normally play very clean. So like this position... It's kind of where I usually am. That way, I can get that sound, and then if I back off, I can clean it up a little bit. So let's just kind of listen to what we've got here. So we're going to start down here in the bridge position. Okay. Now I'm going to... OK, 
Okay, let's move over to the middle. So it's really versatile. You know, I tend to play here maybe with that split. But let's take a look at this one as well. So there's a lot of options for tone, obviously, which is really great. Okay, so now let's move up a little bit. We're just going to move into a little more crunch here. bit heavier here. So it's quite versatile. We have lots of different sounds there. So again, for me, most of the time when I play, all the adjustments that I do, other than, you know, a, more of a clean tone and more of a dirty tone, is, is done with the guitar, you know, changing the, the volume settings and things like that. So to be able to have this coil tap option on both the volume and, uh, and the tone is really nice to be able to kind of dial in what I'm looking for, you know. The Fishmen obviously sound really good for heavy. You know, whatever you might be looking for. But I find, obviously, the great versatility for me is being able to go back to something like this and kind of dial those in for a really nice, you know, cleaner, more mellow kind of sound, too, so I can really kind of cover the uh, uh, both... Um, both avenues of, of sound that way. Now this Sterling comes with a gig bag as well, and the list price I believe is right around 1500 US dollars. So, uh, you know, kind of right in that middle price point for people that are looking for something a little bit nicer, but don't want to spend, you know, 
three, four thousand dollars on a guitar. So it's definitely worth checking out. All right. So take care, stay positive, and I'll talk to you soon. All right.